Hi students, let us continue with the topic uh, binary search tree. So in the previous video, I just explained what is a binary search tree and what is the condition that you have to follow to implement the binary search tree. Okay, I said this is not a binary search tree because uh, here uh, the 25 is greater than 10. The left side should be all less and the right side should be all greater than the root node. It violates that condition. So it is not a binary search tree, but it is a binary tree. Let me show you the difference between this. A binary tree is simply a tree. A binary tree is simply a tree in which each node can have each node can have at most two children. At most two children. So whatever the node you have taken, they are having at most two children 0 1 2 children okay now coming to the binary search tree what do you call uh, what is the conditions for binary search tree for binary tree the condition is at most two children then for binary search tree is a binary tree so it is also a binary tree but some conditions will be there in which nodes are assigned values so here all the nodes are assigned with values with some restrictions so some restrictions like actually the nodes will be present in the tree okay so you have to insert the values here so here uh, the nodes are assigned with values with some restrictions so what are those restrictions the first one is no duplicate values are allowed no duplicate values the first condition of the binary search tree is the same value you suppose already 25 is present here okay if 25 is present you can't insert again 25 because it is already there so no duplicate values are allowed in binary search tree and the next condition the left subtree of nodes the left subtree of nodes can only have values can only have values less than the root node less than the root node so here the left side should be less than the root node and next uh, restriction The right subtree of nodes can only have values, can only have values greater than the root node. So it should be greater than root node. And next, the left subtree of node is, again you have to, so whatever the subtree that is present, so this is a tree, okay, let's take this is a tree, binary tree. So here, uh, you have to arrange the elements in a way that the left hand should be less than the root node and the right hand should be greater than the root node. And the next is, the left subtree, whatever the subtree we are taking, so this is a subtree, okay, the left subtree of node is binary search tree so this uh, subtree is also arranged in the way that here the left hand side is less and right hand side is greater than this node okay so you have to arrange but complete the left side is less and the right side is greater number when compared to the root node but again you have to perform on the subtrees also in the subtrees also the left hand should be less and the right hand should be greater than this particular node so for this subtree this is the root node and for this subtree this is the root node the right subtree of node is BST binary search tree so these are the restrictions you have to follow while you are 
placing assigning the values to the nodes so each node if you are assigning the values you have to follow these conditions no duplication values will be allowed the left subtree should be uh, less than the root node and the right right subtree is greater than the root node and coming to the subtrees the left subtree of node is binary search tree and the right subtree is of node is binary search tree now let me explain the algorithm So here taking the tree search, x and k is the key value. If x is equal to nil or k is equal to x dot k means the starting node. If that is a starting node, the key value, whatever you are searching, that is a starting node, just return the x value. So whatever the x is there, so that's value you have to be written. If k is less than x dot k, x dot k, less than means left side, come to the left side. If the k is less than x dot k, then you have to return tree search, perform again x dot left comma k. Suppose if k is greater than x dot k, that is the right side. You have to return. Okay. Or else you simply keep else. Otherwise you can. We have to end the three for if conditions. Okay. So if else return. Tree search. X dot right. Comma. K. Okay. So this is an algorithm for the binary search tree. Thank you.